All right, so um, there is a patient on there. They're leaving. There's uh, two nurses, it looks like, and pilot, four people on board. Um, but I wouldn't video none of that because of HIPAA. But he's out of view now, and as is everybody. And fired up, warming up, getting ready to go. All right, well, <laughs> we'll leave that part off right there because of the noise of the helicopter. It's not all that pleasant. Um, and luckily, the person that's flying away <laughs> is not the person this video is about, mostly. This uh, video is about what we did all summer. On this particular day when I shot this, Susie was inside the hospital having some tests ran. Now we knew she probably had a problem, but everybody said it probably wasn't nothing. But as it turned out, it was. A few days after I shot this, we got the information back from the hospital that she had cancer. She had breast cancer in her left breast. And we spent our whole summer dealing with that. That's where I've been. That's why we haven't put any videos out. And um, But we're on the far side of that now. That started right at, in the um, very end of spring and um, early summer. So, whew, wow. <laughs> she did end up having to have a complete mastectomy on her left side. So, I've just been spending my time um, helping her and working with her and taking care of her and um, doing all the stuff that has to you have to do when something like that happens. Anyway, I'm not going to get real deep into it, but we come out the other side of it. We still have one more. I'm sure there'll be more than one more, but anyway, one, at least one more visit with the oncologist, the cancer doctor, and she's going to have a couple more tests ran, and then we'll see her sometime in January. But at the moment, we're back up and running full steam. Everybody's healed up. Everybody's doing good. We're all happy and um, doing our thing. So I'm trying to get back into shooting videos for YouTube. <laughs> This particular one was a little bit solemn um, because it was a scary, scary situation. But at, na at this point, we've decided to keep our house. We don't have to sell it. Uh, we were afraid that when we found out that she had cancer that we would need all the money we could get. And luckily, we were in New Mexico and they took really good care of us here. And we come out we come out um, without losing anything, without being deep, deep in debt, and um, all the surgeries are done, and the healing process, and so we're all good to go, and I get to keep my wonderful place at uh, Las Tuzas Valley and Pine Canyon, and here goes the helicopter. And while he's leaving, I wanted to comment on the medical system here in New Mexico. We are so happy with it. Um, a lot of stuff that has to happen has to take place in Albuquerque. And we were over there. And we had to spend some nights in the motel. And we had different things we had to do, getting ready for the surgery and during the surgery and after the surgery. Um, but New Mexico took well care of us. If we had still been in Florida, I fear to say, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I don't think we would have come out in Florida as well as we did here in New Mexico. And we're real happy with our medical care here. We've been, both of us, I've had to, been in the emergency room already and um, had a little scare there, you might remember. But anyway, we're both back healthy and wealthy and not well not wealthy <laughs> but we're healthy so where our health is concerned we're wealthy and we're wiser and I'm happy that I don't have to leave my newfound 
What would I call them? <laughs> neighbors? <laughs> there you go, my newfound neighbors. They're quiet, they never give me no grief, spend half the time out of sight, run away when they see me. <clears throat> I love shooting the prairie dogs and the rabbits and the birds and all the stuff that's around here. I've really enjoyed making videos. All right, so as far as the videos goes, this is video number 100. I wasn't expecting it to be about this. I'm happy that it is, though. The last video I put out before this, when we were doing a walkthrough for the house, trying to sell it in case we needed the money. Another thing that happened in the summertime, and uh, you don't get to see it today, but eventually you will, is I trimmed up a little bit. The ponytail. I was scalped. <laughs> the ponytail's gone. The long hair's gone. The beard's gone. The goatee's gone. <laughs> All of that. Um, I couldn't do hospital stuff and all the stuff we had to do with all that hair hanging around. So I just went ahead and got rid of it. Um, it was important that I put out my best effort to uh, help Susie come through this trying summer that we went through. And I mean, it was. It was a real trying time for us. I wasn't in any, any mood to put anything on YouTube, I'll tell you that. But anyway... Um, thank you for all the 533 subscribers I have and now I have enough subscribers that I can do some stuff as far as being monetized. I got to get three videos shot in 90 days. So this will be the first of those of that. Um, and I got to try to get my um, viewing hours up just a little bit and then I'll be all good to go. I'll be able to get monetized maybe. So I'm looking forward to getting back to work on uh, the videos with YouTube, putting my cameras back to work. Um, one thing that happened on the, during the summertime is my um, editing program that I was using changed. It was a free program from Microsoft and they threw it all out and put something new in its place. And I was really frustrated this morning trying to edit this, but um, I figured it out and I'm really happy with it really am it's got it can do a lot more stuff <clears throat> so as time goes by I'll get more familiar with that and um, hopefully do a better job in the editing process all right I can tell from talking here that I'm out of practice I got a lot of ums in there so forgive me for that got to get get back into the YouTube making business um, video making business and uh, get back used to it again anyway um, I shot a video called rabbits and prairie dogs or prairie dogs and rabbits or something this is part of that this today's video I'm using stuff that I already had to learn how to operate and work the new uh, editing program and get back in the swing of things and just let everybody know what went with went, went, let me back up let everybody know what we went through over this summer that prevented me from being able to make YouTube videos. I guess that's a good way to say it. All right, guys. Um, let's see. What else did I need to bring you up to par on? Okay, I got one other thing. Um, during this time period of this, this scary time period, I started reaching out and seeing who all was left in the family, in the Yancey family. And a lot, a lot of sad, sad news. Um, I guess cancer is rampant across the country. I've lost a, a number of cousins that's at my age and some of that was to cancer. And other illnesses. <clears throat> but happily I did I was able to hook up with the um, second cousin, um, and he's not real familiar with the Yancey family, although he's a Yancey, but he just wasn't all that familiar, so I've been able to kind of help him get some uh, information on uh, his ancestors, and that's been fun. It's kind of... Anyway, I'm going to blow out of here. 
say uh, Yatahay, which also means that we're doing well. Everybody here is good, and hello. From New Mexico, welcome to my channel, New Mexico Outdoors with Mountaintop Bob. I love shooting ducks. All right, as the horses run away, I'm going to say bye-bye. See ya.